Okay, guys, we're going to do an update. We have applied a ground scale factor, but that only applied to the GPS points. So all of our GPS points are down in the 400,000 range and our total station data stayed up here in the 7 million range. So we need to change and adjust our setups to match those coordinates. Now, I don't have any total station setups under the KR GPS training, obviously. But under the KR SLC training, we have some GPS data as well as two total station setups. So I am going to go to my first total station setup. These were all the points shot from this total station setup. So I will select the actual setup. I will right click and go open setup wizard. And it brings up the information. Okay. Yes, this was a known backsite. I was on point number 1000, but it still has the old coordinate for point number 1000. Now to establish this coordinate, we shot it with a GPS. So if we hit the pencil, we can pick 1000 and pick the new GPS coordinate for it and press OK. You notice this coordinate now changed. I've just told it, oh, this is actually where I am. I'm on this coordinate, not the 7 million coordinates. And the antenna height stays the same or instrument height stays the same. So I will press next. My back site was point number 1002. So I'm going to hit next. But which coordinate was it? Now, here is where Infinity has some automation in it and some intelligence built into it. You'll notice it has already changed the point ID to be the GPS 1002. It was the total station 1002. So it is, it's automatically made that switch for us. And you can check your residuals. In all honesty, it's not that great. We have a delta distance of a tenth. So if I hit finish, it's going to change all of those total station shots accordingly. My heights don't change at all because the heights were derived from a geoid. Nothing changed. Only my northings and eastings changed based off my ground coordinate system. And I press OK. And so now that setup, I've only got the one more setup sitting up here. The other setup now just shifted down to match my other shots. There they are. I'll zoom in here and get them. See everything starting to line up again. So let's grab our next one. So from 1002, we right click, open setup wizard. We change the coordinate to the GPS coordinate of 1002. So the coordinate just changed. We hit next, point 1000, next. The intelligence, oh, nope, see, it didn't automatically update to the GPS 1000. We need to change it. The back site was the GPS 1000. There we go. And you can see we have a delta distance of 0.02. It's very good. Now we're going to hit finish. Everything got shifted. Okay. And now, and just as, there it goes. Now the rest of our data just got brought in. Now, when we did our shift for this setup right here, we had a error of a tenth. Well, I know where most of that error came in. Let me show you this. Let me open up that setup wizard again. Point number 1000. That's correct. Let me press next. It was 1002. Next. Right here, point 1002 GPS, but the prism was set to a Leica circular. This was actually an MPR 122. So we need to change this prism to the MPR 122. So I'm going to hit cancel for now because I can't make that adjustment here. And I click on my setup. All right, guys, I, I finally found where you adjust the uh, backside ID. So right here in the known backside, yes, we've gone in, we've adjusted coordinates. But you can see here it's still set to the Leica circular prism. Now, in order to change this target type for the setup, Unfortunately, you know, you do not go to open setup wizard or anything in here. You have to go to your inspector and go over here to the TPS and then find it right here in the setups. Now, I know it's a setup just based off of this total station shot right here. It's not a reflectorless shot. And you can see here's the MPR 122 and here's the Leica circular. So I can come right over and I can change it 
to the MPR-122 and hit apply. And that just applied. I could have also right-clicked and made any one of these adjustments. Target, target types, there's where I could have changed as well. So I made that adjustment, I've hit apply. Now let's just see if it did tighten up my residuals. I don't know if it will or not. We're gonna find out together. So if I right click, go to open setup wizard. Yes, 1000 GPS, next. It is 1002, next. Ah, you see my horizontal district residuals? We're down to 0.02 now. That is exactly what we wanted. So it definitely was a target constant issue that was bringing in all of that error once we applied the scale factor to the ground coordinate system. So everything is working fabulously. So I'll just hit finish and nothing got adjusted there. That's why I didn't get any residuals. But um, guys, yeah, so if I were you, I would definitely make my adjustment to my targets first before running the adjustment, um, running the, in the uh, setup wizard. Um, but that's how you do it. Once again, through the inspector, to the TPS and click on the setup and then you can change the target height of that setup right here. All right, that's all I got guys, thank you.